Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing and I'm yeah very very excited because I finally took a look into the gameplay of VCross and yeah how to play it, how to build decks and I'm super super invested into VCross. I'm so excited about finally playing the game and yeah I got I got some of the starter decks. I don't know when this video goes live. I I ordered some stuff from America because the boxes are just so much cheaper there like uh, yeah regular boxes here in Germany are like $80 and in America they are so much cheaper and yeah like this this is a Nichi Sanji set it's like a collaboration set with a VTuber group and it's super expensive here it's around like $100 so yeah I wanted to get multiple boxes but I just got this one now uh, we get a servant. Very nice. I think there is like a secret version of the of the servant with some gold stamping, but I don't know the the odds how how the ratio is to pull one. Looks like well, I would guess it's pretty rare. But yeah, it's sadly very expensive to get into V Cross uh, or like to get multiple displays. But I'm willing to to pay the price and. Yeah, maybe maybe when this video goes live, I already did the live stream because I I got multiple boxes and the starter decks. The first six starter decks are not available anymore in Germany, really. So I okay. So I ordered them from America, and if everything goes nicely, I hope they are in my hands now. And we get this beautiful. I remember this like I. I opened a box from this set in Japanese before I knew how to play it and what cards I'm looking for and yeah basically before I knew how awesome this game is I just uh, was excited about the artwork but yeah now I'm 10 times more excited for these boxes because I finally know uh, what a servant is for example Man, this looks cool I would like to get this in foil uh, Toko, yeah, she's my favorite from the Elrics in this set, from the designs. I know she's not the uh, the best. I think Ange is the best. And for building decks, I would like to to pull a Ange card uh, or a high rarity Ange. But I didn't remember that this is the set with the hard foiling, and it looks even better than I remember it. This is so cool. I yeah. I don't know how, but I will try my best. I don't know what do I have to sell, like my kidney or my hobbit feed picks, but I will sell everything, every part from my body to get more boxes from this set. It's so cool. I really like the the Elric designs, the, the collaboration. Really, really cool. And a lot of playable cards in this set too. Okay. Okay, we got the LR. It's lies. Uh, I love this artwork. Really, really love this artwork. It's not anger. It's so beautiful. So I, I, I'm happy with every uh, Elric pull from this box. I just hope when I buy multiple boxes that I don't get like the same over and over again. But yeah, she... She has a special ability. Uh, discarding a card with a G. Okay, I don't really understand the constant effect, to be honest. Not now. Maybe I have some, I have some questions there. Uh, how the the collab livers are working? Maybe in some ways, like the coins in previous sets. But yeah, I just hope when I get more boxes, I get maybe a. A toko or anger from a yeah as I said from a design point the toko one is my favorite she looks very very cool but yeah where what I am my my mind is I'm too excited for this unboxing like and uh, we've got Mew Mew and yeah a lot of the probably like most of the signies or all of them are virtual signies 
So yeah, they have one theme and I I haven't opened the first the the zero zero set of V Cross now, but I've read or heard that there are some reprints in this set. Oh yeah, this is the the center three. I pulled her in in my chat in Japanese in my Japanese box. She is really cool. So yeah, I have to get a little bit more into the the mechanics that are mm, yeah new to this set or like the the collab livers. I don't really understand it. Like the wording is not so new friendly. I would say invite two collab li livers. Okay, I don't know what this tells me, <laughs> but I'm I'm really willing to to learn. And yeah, I I recently stopped buying, or maybe you have seen on my channel that in the past I I did open a lot of these like Chinese AliExpress boxes, but I I completely stopped with this. I will I will probably have I I think I will record it tomorrow. I don't know. I'm my upload schedule is always a little bit messy, but I probably have recorded a, a video about my retreat of uh, got a story the name of the Chinese stuff but it's yeah just a waste of money now since I finally know how to use the cards that I open I have a lot more fun and this is yeah one of the I think there are four piece cards uh, as you use this piece you may pay exceed four yeah I know exceed four is when you put like cards under the Elrix into the trash and put the top two cards of your deck into your trash then add up to two target virtual signi from your trash into your hand. In addition add target virtual signi from your trash to your hand. So with exceed four, three, but only virtual signi so you cannot you cannot get a guard back. There are very few cards uh, usually the wording is always for these cards like take a Signy without a without a guard to your hand or put it on the battlefield because yeah the the servant or the guard cards are very cool and uh, very uh, important for the gameplay so yeah but there are a few few cards in the game that let you get any oh another level three Unger. Uh, there are very few cards that let you take a guard into your hand again. Sasaki Saku. Okay, yeah, there are a lot of like I would call it tribal. I don't know if it has a different wording in in Vicross, but uh, this Signy gets plus thousand power for every uh, five Signy in your trash. So it's also like a little bit of it's a white. No, it's a black card. I would say like this. Uh, the mechanics with cards in your trash are usually on on black cards. So, yeah, and it, it is a black card. Sometimes it's difficult for me, at least, to identify, especially like with the with the shatter foiling. I think it's a little bit difficult to tell that this is uh, yeah a card like this, a purple purple or black card, darkness eater. Another servant. Still hoping for one in foil. Mito, assist Elric. Yeah, she. I really love the design, man. She's so cute. Really, really cute. And even the shoes. The complete design is such. Okay. So we get the. Oh man. Uh, we get the fitting. Uh, level zero lies. With the foiling, oh, the hard foiling. I totally, I saw one unboxing uh, on on YouTube from this English release. I haven't seen it. Maybe the the lightning wasn't that good, but I I didn't saw in the unboxing that the the parallel or the regular foils have this this uh, hard effect. This makes it ten times better. Now, now I remember that when I opened the, the Japanese box, I was really excited about the foiling. Really happy that they took this into the English release too. 
Uh, at the beginning of your attack phase, target Signy on your opponent fields get minus 3000, usually like a, a black effect for each other virtual Signy. So yeah, another like tribal. So yeah, when you, I guess when you build decks with, I don't know how fixated Anger decks are with virtual Signies, but yeah, it looks like they, but usually you, you build like the decks together with uh, other virtual signies. And yeah, maybe you can add some. Ooh! Uh, yeah, this is the collab liver. Li I have no idea how to pronounce this. Very pretty. Very pretty token. But yeah, you can probably add some some cuts from the first release. And I got boxes. I haven't opened them yet, but I, I ordered boxes from the uh, zero set. So we have use condition dream team. So yeah, you can only have uh, one P you have two peace cards, but only one can have dream team. And uh, use condition you have used a relay piece. What's relay? Okay. Uh, if your center array is level three or more, put the top. So yeah, this is like a mill, the mill card. I don't know what's with the numbers, 2434. Um, there is like some reason behind it, but usually when I see numbers, it's for, uh, oh man, it's for the, the hentais. So my relationship with numbers or seeing like, more, but I think this is more like four digit. How many digits are they? I don't remember actually, but yeah, this is like a, a guaranteed mill. And yeah, when the. The opponent's deck has no cards anymore. They refresh and they damage or they uh, destroy one of their life cloth. And they don't get a life cloth effect. That's kind of cool. But you cannot kill like I'm from a magic background and you cannot kill with mill. In magic, you can kill with mill. That rhymes. But we got Furan Elus. She has also the number. What is the number meaning? Uh, use cost of your fuel and slash are reduced by three. Oh, I remember there was like, oh, I have to see when we, uh, it is a white spell, a very pricey spell, I think. The cost, I think four or five. And when this sickness is on the field, it's kind of cheap. I don't remember in my head what the, oh, what this, this, what the spell is doing. What is this? ENR? Is this a guaranteed hit in the box too? So is there like an LR and this? Or is this like very rare? I have, I haven't looked into the, uh, the pricing. Like in, in Germany, we have no single market really. That's a bummer. It's very difficult for me to get cards really, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know what's like very big hits in the set because I, I don't plan to sell these cards. I just want them for my collection and for building decks. But yeah, this looks very cool, but I haven't read it. It's a Signy level two in white. Uh, whenever a Signy and an Elric on your field attacks, you may down this up Signy. If you do reveal the top card of your deck, if that card is a virtual Signy trial card, Oh yeah, in in the white color you have a lot of effects where you can like look at the deck and take some cards. I don't remember if there are like a lot of cards that let you like the scry effect and magic that you can uh, look into the cards and put like one card on top of the deck and the rest under the deck. So I'm not so deep at the moment into V Cross, but ooh, this looks cool. Uh, oh, I remember this artwork with the cute penguins. Where's my focus? That's so cute. Yeah, maybe I, I have to look more into the cards. That's a cool artwork again. Assist Anger. But yeah, I haven't found the Furin, Furin Slash. Oh, <laughs> this is so scripted. Here is it, the Furin Slash. 
uh, return target signal on your opponent's field to its owner hand. And yeah, usually it's pretty expensive for five Anna. And with this card, uh, with this card, it's for two, which is okay, I guess. And I can return. Beginning of your attack phase, you may discard a Signy with a G. So, yeah. If you do return target Signy on your opponent's field with power 10,000 or less. So it's kind of aggressive. Like, you give up your your own defense. Um, to be more, to pushing more damage. This is interesting because I know that there are, like, some white aggro decks. And this looks like a piece for, for white aggro. And yeah, the the life cloth uh, or the spell burst, life spell, life burst, life burst effect, uh, is like yeah, basically the effect for free, right? Or am I reading something wrong? So yeah, what's interesting is that the uh, the signy doesn't have to be upped. Uh, there are some some give it back to your hands cards and because or like a lot, and some are. Um, only working on up Signy. This is working on every Signy. But I, I haven't really formed an opinion about the, the on hand effect, because there are a lot of cards that have abilities when they enter. Like when the Signy enters, you can pay this and that, and then this happens. So I don't know. I think there are like quite a few cards that you don't want to give. Uh, your opponent back on the hand, so he doesn't have the on play or on battlefield effect again. So, yeah, maybe I have to play some more rounds so I get a. Oh, cool! Oh, this. Uh, we've got another Ratna Petit. Okay, but yeah, we get the level two and level three of Toko. Yeah, really, really want this one in in LR. Maybe in maybe one month from now, depending what my my bank account tells me, I will try to get like two boxes. I don't know, one or at least one, but not so sure. And yeah, I will plan to to do some V Cross live streams, as I said. Ooh. So we can yeah, maybe if you're into it we can chat about building decks and how cool the game is, how beautiful the artwork is, Mito level zero. And the hard foiling is top. I it's so beautiful. It's one of my, my favorite foilings by far. A thousand times uh, better than the letter foiling from the SR cards. Really not a fan of that. Maybe another Mito. Oh, that's so cute. Toko level zero. Uh, okay, man, my mind. I was reading something different with a love. I thought it's a C. I was, oh boy, that's a name. That's a name. Uh, but we are already 18 minutes into the video at this point. Nobody, nobody is watching anymore, so I... I can be a little bit less family friendly. Oh man. Uh, is this lies? Okay, yeah, I remember these. That's so cute. I don't remember which uh, which token I pulled in my Japanese box. If it, if it was her too? I don't remember. Yeah, this was this was really funny, and as I said, I in the future I will try to give you a little bit more value, like looking more into the cards and tell you, hey, you can do this or that, or you can build this or that. Uh, okay, we get three piece cards. Is this normal? Oh, that's cool. I'm not complaining. But yeah, what what is this doing? Uh, as you use this piece, you may pay exceed four again. Mm -hmm. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal up to two virtual signy. Add them to your hand. If you paid the exceed four, and I charge one. But it doesn't cost anything. But okay, 
Uh, in the beginning, I was asking the question, what is a relay piece? So yeah, you, you can see here that it's a relay piece. So you have to play this before you play the other piece I put. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope now my V-Cross unboxings are a little bit more entertaining or helpful since I actually know how to play the game. And yeah, I really hope uh, I find some people who are really into V-Cross 2 and want to want to talk a little bit or maybe play some games. I would be very into it. And as always, I end my unboxing with a Force of Will pack to look for the Anubis Secret Rare. Osiris is a nice pull, but not Anubis. Ah, Invitation. Yeah. I think I've pulled him before. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.